ladies and gentlemen. I we welcome you to to tonight's presentation of Dr. Evil and Basket of Pins. I am your honored host, Mary Shelley, writer of novels, plays, short stories, and travel guides. Travel guides, really? Who knew? And I am the world famous Dr. Frankenstein. And and what? And we're supposed to tell them a little about ourselves before we begin. Oh, right. Unless you'd like me to tell them about you. Don't you dare. Mm -hmm. I speak for myself from now on. Suit yourself. Um, I invented the human cloning. Did you? More or less. Well, that's not exactly how I remember it. Listen, folks, anything that this woman tells you about me is probably untrue. See, she wrote this book that was based on real events, so I may have taken some creative liberties. You shouldn't write about your neighbors. But tonight's story is about our neighbors, and it's a good one. Well, he deserves to be made up to be a madman. I do not. Relax, you should be flattered I wrote a story about you. But people think I'm some sort of... Anyway, we welcome you all. We are here to present the story for this evening. But before we begin, we must share a few words of caution. Right. Please notice the emergency exits. There and there. You'll need to know where these are in the event that Dr. Evil wants to set the place on fire. Now, now. Okay. I admit, I might be a bit bitter about the fire he caused in my laboratory. Also, you'll want to silence any devices that may interfere with the electromagnetic frequency. What she means is, anything that rings, or beats, or sends or receives the via the radio waves. Who knows what Dr. Evil has hidden deep within his lair that could be set off by someone's cell phone ringing. What's a cell phone? I don't know, maybe some sort of device that transmits a signal, so you can speak to someone over long distances. Rubbish. It's impossible. It can happen. I just made it up. I'm the writer, you know. Also, if anything that may occur during tonight's performance that may lead you to be a bit squeamish, the washing facilities can be reached most efficiently if you go that way. But whatever you do, do not squeam upon the person sitting next to you. Unless you want them to squeam at you for the remainder of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also required by law to inform you that no animals were or will be harmed in the creation and production of this play. Well, that's good to know, but what about humans? I'm not required by law to make any statement regarding the welfare of humans. Apparently, no one cares about the humans. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> and now that all the formalities have been taken care of, we present tonight's dramatic offering. You're sure to enjoy it. Let's just 
say that this is the story about doctors. Learn to love. What? Him? Yes, him. No. Yes? And now we proudly present Dr. Evil.
source of them all. That's the spirit, darling. And don't worry, you'll be just awful. I know. <laughs> to attend 
in there, like your uncle. I know, I know. He was malice dictorian and worst of the class. I've heard it all before. Mother can't be proud, can't she? Sure. Where's Uncle Mort anyway? Proudish and rust, I almost forgot him. He's still not up yet. We've got to get him up and ready for his big meeting tonight. Sherman, ring the bells. Yes, ma'am. My only son is not going to be late for the most important meeting of his life. Margo, we still need to prepare for the hors d'oeuvres. Can you fly over to Shelley's to get some new tails? Fine. And see if you can talk about a big boar skull while you're there. I need a centerpiece. Okay. News tales? Really? I thought you were a writer. I'm also an entrepreneur. <coughs> Didn't you know? Since most of my neighbors, neighbors dabble in the dark arts, I found a way to make an extra buck every now and then. Shelley's house of relics and curiosities. Though I don't know what I've ever done to give her the impression that I would carry a boar skull. You remember! I was at your booth at the Dark Arts Convention when you said, come over any time you need some boar skulls. Borax! I carry borax for potions and stuff. Whatever. Do you sell nuts and bolts? Sure, come back some time and I will show you my wares. Uh -huh. Right, back to the story. Oh, but I must find something to serve the witch's bread in. Sherman, where is my bread basket? It's in the other room, the hyperbaric chamber. And just why? Hyperbaric, 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 hyperbaric. Why would it be in the hyperbaric chamber? Your blood bags keep rolling around during the oxygenation process, which destabilizes the ion, mm -hmm. so I have to use the basket to keep the little buggers in place. Of course. Good evening, Mother. <laughs> Sherman, hello, Auntie Frankenstein. <clears throat> Tonight, the world watches! Tonight, a city repeat! Tonight, a council of my peers will award me with accolades and honors, fortune and fame, and other shiny things. This night shall be remembered for all and beyond the night when Dr. Evil claimed victory over all nations, civilized or barbaric, and the powers that be. It is the night when the destiny of all mankind is changed forever. For tonight, I unveil the devastating powers of my latest invention, Dr. Evil. Oh, evil plans. As a member of the Council of 
evil, she was invited to this big unveil with Dr. Amos. Thermal ray. That thing's an eyesore, by the way. Yes, you mentioned that before. It's what, 80 feet high? Give or take. And it blocks the perfect view of the volcano. Well, the tower is on his property. He can do what he likes. Well, I'm sure he's breaking some sort of code. I don't care. I'm going to have to write a strongly worded letter to the Neighborhood Association. Do what you like, but you'll get nowhere with them. As I was saying, the, Dr. Evil was hoping to convince the council to financially support his plans to build more thermal rays, but the council had no interest in making a donation. Your car has arrived, madame. I'm almost ready. Is everything set? Yes, I'm putting the final touches on our little gift to Dr. Evil. It's been carefully planted inside the basket. Well, you must make sure it stays planted. We would not like to resort to plan B. We won't have to. Everything will go according to plan. This is just our little insurance policy. You'll see. That's doubtful. I don't see why we should risk everything. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Well, there's nothing I can say to make you see reason. My life is in your hands, madame. All I'm saying, I just wish we had been able to uncover the blueprints on our previous visit. Who could that be? Just get the door, Pierce. Yes, ma'am. <coughs> Funny, nobody's there. <coughs> and another thing, Countess? Yes, Pierce? Will dinner be served? I can't recall. Check the invitation. Here you are. to the unveiling of Dr. Evil's thermal ray. At the residence of Dr. Evil, located at the corner of Sorrow and the Edge of Darkness, guests will have the privilege of witnessing the complete annihilation of the greater Wheat Norton area. Or dares will be served with a celebratory dinner to follow. Well, there you have it. Curses. What is it? Just don't think I could stomach those sanguine culinary curiosities. Freddy uses far too much blood for my taste. She's a vampire. What do you expect?
I think we need to get rid of the sharks. <laughs> I have to get used to them. I bought them ages ago for that stupid assassination <coughs> plot, and now I can't get rid of them. Believe me, I have tried. We're stuck with them. But I wasn't talking about that. How do I look? Sober. Not intimidating? Daunting? No, let me fix your time. There. Rotten satellite! You'd think in this modern, technologically driven world, the television company could figure out a simple satellite dish. I'm sorry, what is this television he speaks of? It's a box with a screen that lets you watch moving pictures. Nonsense. It's impossible. It makes perfect sense to me. See? But how can you make stuff up that no one's ever heard of? How will people follow the story? It's fine. It's fiction. They'll get it. Fine. Mm. Meanwhile, in our magical future fantasy world... <laughs> uh, this button, sir. Not to 
get me ever since I burned up his laboratory. Naughty, naughty. It was an accident! Believe me, it was not an accident. <laughs> it was! Mom, oh, we like you. Can we keep them? No! That's ridiculous. We have to get rid of them. Just put them back on the doorstep. Sorry. 
as bread. It seems a bit heavy for bread. Okay, you got me. I may have put a hint of, of blood in the dough. That's my secret. Why would I make it so heavy? Blood is full of iron, sweetie. Say so. All right, you fuzzy demons, you're mine!
everyone, please be seated. Sherman is serving drinks, and I'll be back in just a moment with appetizers. Oh, and the witch's bread I have almost forgotten. I still have to talk about those newt's tails. Newt's tails? Disgusting. Disgusting! 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 <laughs>
yes, you're right. C, total nutcase. A word of warning. If you haven't been paying very careful attention, you may not want to watch this. Burn! 
Yes. Oh. What do you say? Sounds good to me. Yes, sir. No problem. No. Good. And <laughs> take your little gift along with you. I think you'll find out what we're capable of once you see what's become of your little prank. It's not so cute and cuddly anymore, and you'll think twice about leaving something on our step. Uh, sure. On your way now. Okay. <laughs> Bye. I don't know why you just don't annihilate that entire family. You never know, Mother. They are the predatory type. They could come in handy someday. Possibly. Now that they are out of our way, and we don't have to worry about those kitchens, we can have your meeting without disturbance. Right. We just have to make a few final preparations first. Margo's giving the council a tour. See if you can track them down. I know just where to look. Sherman, I'd really like to make a big entrance, especially since I've kept them waiting. I'll need you to summon me once everyone has been seated. Can I ring the bell? Please, please, please. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I? Yes, 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 yes. And so now we've done the kittens. We're no longer It's gone! She's stuck! Give it back! Give it back! Give it back!
Stop! 
to... Give it back! <laughs> How did you find it? She didn't find it. She was wearing it when she came in. She stole it! Get out of your hand! I guess you're 
right. I've never seen that side of them before. Very intimidating. I tried to tell you. You like the wares? Yeah. Ew, but they're hairy, filthy! Duh. Everyone, if I may, Lord Warhammer, Prince Vladdy, Archduchess, I would just like to say how extremely you yeah, don't have to say anything. Well, after all that's happened. You should have worn a nerve for you tonight than I've seen on any combat soldier or part of the crew. While we were carrying on the table, you stared death in the face. And I started that backstabbing witch. Ahem. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, dears. Just an expression. The point is, people, the Countess is to blame, not you. Consider the money yours. You have our support. That is if your thermal behavior works as you say it does. Ah, uh, yes. The thermal ray. If everyone will please take your seats. Sherman, get rid of these. Uh, do they have to know? Type of bad or mistress. I'm allergic. Okay, but just one last look. Ooh. Ooh, let me see. <laughs> see, I thought they'd like them. Okay, that's that's enough. That's enough. Thank you, Sherman. Okay, everyone. You want proof that the thermal ray works? Well, I give you the destruction of Wheaton. Good evening, and thanks for joining us for your last call weather report. And are you in for a surprise? Looks like the heat wave will be moving out of Illinois a lot sooner than we thought. New models from the National Weather Service indicate that the record heat we were forecasting for tomorrow may actually turn to record lows due to an unexpected shift in the jet stream, which will bring a surge of arctic air from the north. Who knew, right? You can expect freezing temps and several inches of snow for the morning commute. So don't get out the full flops just yet, we end. That's it for now, so go get some sleep if you're not in bed already. We remind you always to tune in for KZYU for the latest changes in your weather. Good night, everyone. That's it. I thought they were supposed to be incinerating. And fire? I don't know what happened. Everything was built precisely as it should be. It's working three rounds of field testing. I, I don't understand. Hey, uh, Mr. Evil? Doctor Evil. You're a doctor? Really? Yes. Oh. Can I show you look at my pants? No. What do you want? Oh, hey. Do you know that big old tower of metal you've over there near a den? What about it? Yeah, it's just a big old heap of metal now. It fell over when the bomb exploded our house. No!